big day ahead. What is likely to happen at the vote later today? Well, we still do not know. We just know it needs two thirds of the MEPs to back the Sergeant Tenney report in order for it uh, to be passed. We know, for example, that Giver Hofstadt, the head of the Liberals, will be backing that report. We saw yesterday him tell the European Parliament that he believes if Hungary applied for EU membership today, they would not be accepted. He has blamed Viktor Orban for accepting European funds and money, but not accepting its values. We also know the European Greens will also be backing that report, as well as the European United Left uh, Party. But when it comes to the European People's Party, that's the centre-right party, the biggest one in the European Parliament, led up by Manfred Weber, a German MEP from, from Bavaria, it's still not decided. But we do know how he'll be voting. He will be backing that report. Let's take a listen to what he said to journalists last night in Strasbourg vote tomorrow in favour of the Article 7 procedure. Uh, I think uh, we had enough dialogue. I al always argued that if there is a readiness of compromise from, uh, from the countries who are, uh, have, uh, who are touched and who have, have, where we have concerns, if there is a readiness of compromise, then we can continue with the dialogue. But I must say that today in the debate in the plenary and in the debate in the, uh, the group, I didn't saw this readiness of, uh, of uh, the Hungarian Prime Minister. So there was no compromise. That was the problem for Manfred Weber. The thing is, Viktor Orban, in a very aggressive uh, press conference yesterday in Strasbourg, said that he would not budge, he would not compromise, he would not give more leeway to NGOs in Hungary or to the media in Hungary or to that Budapest uh, Central University. These were the key points for Manfred Weber in order for him uh, to support him. It was indeed a very interesting, a very heated debate yesterday. And at times, Orban looked... Uh, cornered, isolated. Were there voices supporting him yesterday in the parliament and how will that translate today at the vote? Well, absolutely, there were certainly voices. One that was very strong was Nigel Farage. He told Viktor Orban to join the Brexit club. He will love it, he said. Also supporting Viktor Orban were members of the far right. They're hoping that Viktor Orban's Fidesz party will actually join the Europe for Freedom and Nations party next year after the European elections. And also, of course, the Fidesz MEPs. There's 12 Fidesz, ME, Fidesz MEPs in the European People's Party. They said last night, it's a free world. We will be voting the way we like. But what this vote and this whole debate base shows is that Europe, the European Union and its member states and its political parties are deeply divided and there's big differences between the East and uh, the, the North and that's why they can't solve a lot of issues like of course the migration crisis.